Hi, it's Megan. I'm trying to make my way through my um, Giorgio Armani products. I don't have that many because it's a pricey, pricey brand. So I usually buy it when they have their friends and family sale and I get a discount. So I did fall in love with their Rouge Ecstasy lipsticks. These are $34 and they are 0.14 ounce. So that's kind of a more generous lipstick size. And you know, it's not as crazy as some lipstick prices. With Rouge Ecstasy, so it comes in this really pretty red case as opposed to their normal black. And they claim that with it, the Giorgio Armani Laboratories push the boundaries of exceptional even farther with the first CC lipstick, Color and Care, which is a new innovative hybrid product. So it offers the comfort and softness of a lip balm, leaving lips repaired and beautifully enhanced, and then it adds everyday lipstick coats in saturated ultra-luminous shades with impeccable hold. Uh, it's available in 36 shades, and I do have both brights and neutrals. So I have three right here. I did a review on two others before, one which was like a coral kind of color and 400, which is a beautiful, beautiful, amazing red. And so these are my last three. And so I'm starting with them in numerical order. Giorgio Armani does these number things, which I find really confusing in a sense. I guess they're consistent. So like I have you know, one lipstick that corresponds in the regular formula with the same color in the Rouge Ecstasy. But I kind of like to know the names too. So on these they put names. So the first one I have is 100. And the name on that is Androgino. And it comes on the package, but it does not come on this. This just has a number on it. And I put them on my, over my lips. I'm going to take them on and off on camera since these are a semi sheer formula and I have really pigmented lips by doing it that way first of all it doesn't break up the flow of the video but then also you can see especially with this particular one which not the most pigmented in fact it's the least pigmented of all the ones I have um, you can at least see what it might look like on you when you compare your lips to my lip color so why do I love this formula so much first of all for a sheer lipstick or semi sheer it does wear better on me than a lot of others I can get at least two hours sometimes three if on the darker shades or even slightly longer I get a little staining just a tiny tiny bit with the darker shades but it wears really beautifully it kind of wears evenly and it is moisturizing on me although I will say that I don't have a dry lip problem so I'm not someone who's overly sensitive to that but they do end up wearing well and being very moisturizing. I like the semi sheer formula. If you can see on this one, I love nudes. Nudes don't always love me. Um, I have really pigmented lips, but I like to play up the eyes. If I put too much color, I start looking like a clown, so I'm always trying to find the perfect nude where I can play up my eyes, soften kind of what my lips do. Um, and so when you have a sheer formula like this, I think it's a little bit more flattering on a lot of people. It doesn't wear as long, but it's a little bit more flattering on a lot of people because you're basically working with your natural lip color a little bit. So this is it, and I think it's a really classic nude kind of a lipstick. It's warmer toned and less kind of frosty or um, foundation looking in that you can see there's like a soft peachy, almost a little bit pink undertone to it. And on my lips, I think it's one of the more wearable nudes that I have just because it does work with my natural lips and I have outdoor swatches of these too but I did want to take so I don't have 100 in the regular formula but I do have 103 and I just want to show you can see the difference in the formulas that one's obviously a lot pinker but it's also not quite as sheer it's a little bit sheer too but not quite as sheer they feel great on the lips they are very kind of hydrating uh, it's a softer formula as opposed to kind of one of those really thier, thick, gloppy ones. And there really is, on all of these, almost no scent that I can discern. Some people that are more sensitive maybe might get a scent out of it, but I really, I don't really smell much of one. So this shade will last about two hours on me, which for such a light, sheer kind of nude is a long time. The next one on me, since... I'm really picky about what lasting is. If I get faded lipstick, to me that's not lasting. That's faded lipstick that needs to be replaced. The next one is number 302, and this is Tokyo, and this is a really cool color. Look at that. That's what it looks like. 
again in this pretty red tube. What I like about the red is that it makes it a lot easier to find it in your bag. Cause it's like, oh wow, the red thing. I could find that. If it's like black, it just disappears into the Neverland, never to be found again, right? So let me take this first one off. I, of course, left my Kleenex in the bathroom like I always do. Like 99% of the time. So I have to blow it with my hand. Um, I also don't get, my top lip tends to fade really easily and not get definition with some sheer formulas. I do not get any of that with this. Now this is a more opaque. So you can see, even though it's a really bright color, it works with my natural color and it doesn't look super bright on. It's kind of a real coral, a bright, soft coral though. It's definitely very pigmented, but not super, super bright, a softer bright, if that makes sense. And I can definitely see shades of pink in this. I love this color. This will last almost three hours on me. And um, it's a very versatile color for the summer months, in my opinion. If I get a tan, it's going to look even better. We'll see. And then the last one I have is Boudoir. I can't pronounce it Boudoir. I've never been able to pronounce French stuff. Number 509. And this is it. And it's right there. So you can see it's kind of like a very classic warm pink with some of a rose or raspberry undertone to it, but very much just a pink. It doesn't have a strong. And it does lean slightly warm. And again, it's a more opaque coverage. And what did I say about it? That's pretty much it. On me, this is a My Lips Are Better kind of color. But you can see with the sheer formula, even though it's not completely sheer, it does have that opacity you get a very natural look with good coverage as well. This one will also last almost three hours on me. Um, and it does feel, it's one of those lighter, creamier formulas. I don't know if they feel like a bomb. Maybe they feel like a little more liquid bomb. You know, the ones that come in tubes as opposed to like a chapstick. So I'm making my way through my Giorgio Armani collection. I'm almost done. I think I have one more video left. But overall, these are one of my new favorite formulas. I just really love them for the natural looking, uh, semi-sheer, but good coverage and beautiful colors that actually work with my skin tone, which not all brands do. The Choice 36 from like the super neutral to the super bright. The ability to get a nude that kind of works with my natural color. And um, I think that's it. Thanks. And then I like the sheen. There's just a soft sheen to them. Thank you. Oh, I was supposed to say, subscribe on YouTube. If you have other colors, I would love to hear what you think. And I have a novel that I'm doing chapter by chapter on YouTube. Please watch it called Masks, which is about makeup and the masks we wear. Thanks. <laughs>